That's, there you uh, go. That's, uh, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. The throw on the tie. He caught <laughs> it. No, nah, oh, not man. today, son. <laughs> not today. I ain't finished with you. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, I'm Michael B. Jordan. I'm Stephen Cable Jr. And then today we're going to be looking through some of the iconic movie boxing scenes. You can clearly see the misses on this one. Yeah, but not only that, I'm looking at the lighting. If I'm looking at something different, it's, it's interesting because back in the day, they used to have that kind of like lighting placement where it's just like over the top. Just like over now, the top. Yep, and everything now is kind of spot lit. Like the crowd is super lit when you cut to them, but when you see it here, it's, it's like, like, yeah, it's like theater. You can't, yeah, exactly. You can't see, you can't see nothing forwards, but. And we shot this film, so we had it on green screen. And so it's kind of hard to pull off that look. Boxing, it looks perfect. <laughs> 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 it looks like a real boxing. <laughs> Nah, it's, I mean, you got a little bit of taunting, which is real. Yeah. Uh, Over-exaggerated characters, over-exaggerated blows and it's, swings. It's, he's literally punching him behind he, the head. He's so telegraphing everything, too. It's like everything's like over-dramatic, like super wide punches, mm -hmm. like overselling everything. You know, I love Ali. Now, because they made their gloves fatter to help with the contact. Mm -hmm. I remember I watched the behind the scenes of this so many times. I love this film. Jamie killed it. And it's just a story of an icon, you know? Mm -hmm. A legend. You know, yes. Everything he's meant, you know, the yep. people's champ, the mental game of it, exactly. you know what I'm saying, the chess mm -hmm. matches, like, oh, I need to just hold on for a little bit longer, let me bluff my way through this little, little tired true. spot until I get my get my feet back. And you don't, you don't see a lot of that, because nah. when you go into boxing matches, just strictly all punches, you know, half of the fight has been tying each other, tying up, each other up, gaining tying position, exactly. trying to get the advantage. Mm -hmm. This is rocky. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are some big misses, too. Nah, they were. And it's just the style of like, you know, the shorts. They're also not wearing the, uh, what is the thing that you guys want to With wear? The cups. The, uh, the cups and the whole. It looked know, like Apollo got cups on it now. Mm. No, his trunks are just high. Ah. I mean, but what's interesting, this looks like the first round. So feeling this each is, other out. Yeah, this is where they're feeling each other out. And then uh, Apollo. Nothing's in the ring. Like everything is from outside and up above. Yeah, not definitely size approach. He has these like POV and close ups of people, you know, taunting back and forth. But everything is definitely from the audience perspective, which is a really interesting choice. <laughs> Speed ramps for we, sure. We definitely took some bits from this film. Oh, man. <laughs> that, the uppercut the was vicious. And then, like, yeah. musical score, too. Mm -hmm. The way the music kind of kicks in once, you know, the tie starts to shift. You realize yeah. that he was playing. Also, you have these rapid cuts, too. So if you look at the editing, like, they're really fast. They can mm -hmm. really hide a lot of the misses in that. It was like more of a brawl. This was like mm -hmm. more like boxing. It was more like backyard brawling, you know what I'm saying? Because there was no gloves, so you felt like you were hearing the flesh. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. So, that looks that familiar. Vicious. <laughs> is that what you took from? Is that where you got it? <laughs> no, I did. It's a combination of this and Agent Bull. If they have that on here, obviously. They better. Uh, uh, man, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. 1943. Agent Bull, man. Mm -hmm. and they did a good job with tracking character arcs and emotions through this, too. Yeah. You know, they really stayed with the narrow. No, for slipping. sure. <laughs> and the flash, the flash through the ring. They cut back. He's in the ring. As, oh, camera flashes are a great way to hide cuts as well. Like if you're trying to do like a long take and you have a camera flash, you can always just use that use and hide a cut behind cut. it. Yeah, just bury it right underneath it. Um, but look at this slow motion. Like when he comes up and it goes in. The floor. Oh, that's cold. Yeah, man. Oh my god. Then we right in the mix again. Yep. Man. I love this movie. Mm -hmm. Slip. Oosh. Oosh. No, this and movie. They did a lot of like. Uh, you about to say, yep. POV shots exactly. on this one. A lot it was of POV. Very much his perspective throughout the entire fight, which that's something we did in this movie as Straight well. Straight down the barrel. It's very effective, man. You can feel the aggression. You can feel the power behind the hits with a POV shot. Our fight in the film. <laughs> uh, we similar style with the overhead lighting. I don't know if you noticed that in the, um, the last fight. We tried to. So it shows definition. It's kind of like this soft box over everyone. I, to say, I, I need to help. Yeah, we need to help need to, to make help your to... muscles stick. Is that, is that what happened? <laughs> we need to top like that. But no, it really does help. It gives us like the cinematic feel. <laughs> just mimicking like you know older style, you know. The colors and stuff. Mm -hmm. You can just tell the difference from the other films. Oversaturated colors. Mm -hmm. Similar to like the older film where you know if you can't see the crowd in the back. You know, what I'm saying true. you only see like the first like yep. 10, 15 rows. But the lighting is really harsh on this one. You can tell from the from the side, just kind of fly all around, but gives you that like. Uh, Real boxing match feel. Oh, I love this film. 
a million dollar million baby. baby. Yeah. Underdog story. Underdog story. Um, this one had arcs within the fights. Exactly. I remember that. Each round had their own specific arc, which uh, I think I feel like Sly created that really. Like this whole round one is yours, round two will be Drago, yeah. et cetera, and it's back and forth. Really arcing it out as mm -hmm. much as you can. And what I enjoyed about this one too is the coaching in the corner was very much accurate with what they were doing in the ring. Taking notes, showing mm -hmm. the chess match between like the corners yeah. and stuff, taking adjustments. And it's a woman boxer. Yeah, I know, right? It's pretty dope. Yeah, you definitely don't have too many of those. That's, there you uh, go. That's, uh, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. The throw the tie. He caught it. <laughs> nah, oh, not man. today, son. Not today. I ain't finished with you. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't you I've quit never on me. seen this movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> he threw the towel back. Is that legal? I don't think that's legal. We'll give him that word. Wait, what is yeah, I think it was weight class. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. And that way, you know, so when you go to body punches, you can like, you know, you can really make contact on that one. You know, it's easier to sell. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how did how did flow punches feel though? Because you you had to take all his real body punches. Oh, I felt those. <laughs> uh, I, I felt every single one of those. He did a good job with holding him back after a while. Mm -hmm. I think like the first couple of rounds, he was like, Mike's he's tough. Good. He's strong. He's big. He can take these. Yeah, no, I definitely <laughs> remember that. And it wasn't until I got in the ring and felt him like playfully tap me. He's like. Brother, I'm gonna do one of these. And, and then you, he hit me and I was like, like oh my god, power. like he's just dude's power. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at you and you're like, mm-hmm. I ain't have to sell mm -hmm. nothing. Hey, there it is, there it is. speaking of the Dragos. And this was just a slug fest. This was. You go, I go. Your turn, my turn. Just right and left. And this is like the rhythm right here that uh, Sly creates, man, the back and forth rhythm. Of who could just take more, you know, who could take more mm -hmm. punishment. A fun fact about this is that we uh, we use some of this footage in the Creed film. And so I got to see like the raw, like uncut stuff mm -hmm. and they sent it over from the studio. And the way he shot it, he was very specific on what moments he wanted to capture. So you'll literally see one or two punches within one take and he'll cut. Cut. So the take was literally like three seconds, three seconds four long, seconds long. He was really like Frankenstein it together. Yeah. Like, I couldn't stitch any together because you have to start editing a whole fight. Cool. I was getting into it. I could watch movies all day. <laughs>